Hey guys, it's Joya. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming. You're the fucking best. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts on uh, legalization in California. Because, you know, in especially in the cannabis community, I mean everywhere, in, in all communities, there's, you know, debate about it and everybody feels differently and everybody's like, oh, well, if this, then that, and blah, 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 blah. So I just want to talk to you guys about my opinion and um, what I, you know, what I like felt about it. So... Originally, when anybody that smokes weed hears legalization, they're like, fuck yeah, right? Legalization sounds great. <laughs> like, we should definitely do that. You know, you can't get in trouble for fucking having a gram on you while you're driving or you know what I mean? Whatever. I mean, you still can. But anyway, we wouldn't have to go talk to a doctor, pretend to be sick for something. You know, some of us are definitely, some of us definitely do have, um, you know, issues that, that cannabis helps us with. Personally, I got it for my anxiety with school because I, you know, was like feeling a lot of pressure. Um, but I also, you know, like fucking love to smoke weed. Like I love being high. I love smoking weed. I love smoking weed while I'm eating. I love smoking weed before I go to sleep. I love smoking weed. You know what I mean? I love smoking weed with my friends. Like I love that physical act of packing a bowl, lighting it, rolling a blunt. You know what I mean? All that shit. I love, like, I love, you know, cannabis in general. But when we first hear the word like legalization, um, we don't we don't think about all of the impact that that's gonna make, which there is a lot of. There's a lot of you know repercussions that come with the legalization of weed. You know, weed is federally illegal by the fucking constitution. It is illegal. I think it's in the constitution. Shit, don't fucking quote me on that. I guess I'm not. I guess I shouldn't be talking out of my ass. But it is federally illegal. So if you are dealing with um, federal government, which would be, you know, I mean, I'm sure no, none of these agencies are going to be coming after you unless you're like fucking um, a major trapper. <laughs> but the, if you're dealing with the FBI, the CIA, US Marshals, you know, Border Patrol, you know, the, the federal agencies, weed is illegal to them. So if you're dealing with a federal agent of any sort, it, they are fully allowed to enforce the federal law that marijuana is a schedule one drug for whatever the fuck reason. I have no idea why the fuck they did that shit. It's crazy. They put weed in the same category as ecstasy and acid and meth and heroin and like that's crazy to me. Like that's crazy. There is a huge huge fucking difference between my life smoking weed every day and my lifestyle and a fucking person that does heroin every day. Like, are you kidding me? I'm not saying I'm any better than that person. That person is still a person, but legality wise, we are the same. However, lifestyle wise, we are very fucking different. You cannot compare a stoner's lifestyle to a real ass drug addict's lifestyle. It's completely different. Although I do feel like there might be like somebody out there that's fucking a functioning heroin addict. Probably not, but there might be. I don't know. We have marijuana in the same category as these terrible, terrible drugs. However, within the federal law, there's a loophole which makes states able to dictate whether or not they want it to be legal. So that's how Washington was made recreationally legal. Colorado is recreationally legal. Oregon, I believe, is recreational. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's recreational. Um, I think there's a few states on the East Coast that are recreational. Um, a most, not most, but uh, quite a few states are um, medical, which is great. You know, I would so much rather have everything under. Uh, medicinal marijuana laws as opposed to recreational, but we'll keep talking about that. So let me tell you guys why, to my understanding, this could, this is all fucking speculation, but whatever. There are so many people against the legalization of marijuana federally. Marijuana competes with, in my, in my life, it does not, and in a lot of other people's life, well, I guess it does in my life, and a lot of other people's lives, it competes with tobacco and pharmaceuticals. So there's people that have stopped smoking cigarettes because they smoke weed. Or there's people that stop taking their, um, you know, pharmaceutical medication by using cannabis. Those 
industries are taking a huge risk if marijuana were to become legal. Um, and as you guys know, I'm sure these are fucking billion dollar industries. Like there are people that are literally billionaires because of tobacco and pharmaceuticals. And I know, I'm sure you guys also know that the people with the most money have their hands in all of the politics that take place in this country and in a lot of other countries as well. Those companies that would lose millions, potentially billions of dollars by marijuana becoming legal do not obviously do not fucking want that shit. They're like, please don't make weed legal. I'm gonna be a normal person. Where? Well, I'm gonna have to get rid of my fucking 10 Rolls Royces and my six Ferraris and my fucking fucking $50 million house. Cry me a fucking river, assholes. I'm looking at you. I hope you're watching this. So there's all these people that have so much money and they got all their hands in politics and they got all their hands on the politicians and they're able to manipulate things. Those are the people along with the people who for whatever reason actually think weed belongs in the same category as heroin and ecstasy and acid and meth and whatever. Those are the people that are saying weed should not be legal and those are the people influencing the politicians that are actually able to make those laws valid. These people would be losing so much money if that happened. That is a whole fucking thing. On the same side, if weed were to become legal, there are a whole lot of millionaires and billionaires that are not involved in the tobacco and pharmaceutical industry that would love to get their fucking so much goddamn money into this industry. And that's another, that's like a reason why I didn't um, support legalization. I didn't actually say that. I do not, I did not support legalization. My parents, I, we all voted no on legalization because for these reasons that I am about to fucking tell you. You guys. When we're voting for legalization, there are a whole lot of issues within that law that would make marijuana recreationally legal. First of all, the permits to grow, distribute, transport, you know, because we're making this a whole fucking valid ass industry. There's a lot that goes into creating an industry. So um, there's all these different aspects. And I'll tell you guys this because my dad owns a trucking company and um, I had told him, you know, we should get into the transportation aspect. You know, that's a whole thing that they don't have yet. Everything is so new, you know? My dad basically told me to go fuck myself <laughs> because he was like, there is crooked people that will steal. There's, there's, you know, there, it's still federally illegal. So if you get rolled by the federal police, you're fucked. My dad is a very safe person. I mean, he is a risk taker financially, but with the law, he does not fucking play. He does not play at all. And I say that because also I, I found out that the permit to be able to, they're all between to grow, transport, <clears throat> distribute, all of those, they're all between a quarter million and a million dollars for just a permit. Just a permit that says you can do it. That does not include any of the fucking equipment, any of the, you know, tr uh, cost of, you know, moving it, growing it, anything. We're talking a million dollars just to be able to start a business. That does not include any of the money that you need to start a fucking business. So that's fucking ridiculous. And that is exactly how they keep the rich rich and the poor poor because they're fucking taking this, they're, they're taking this brand new industry and growing it from just about nothing, but they're telling the entire mass of citizens in this country that don't have a fucking stray million dollars, you can't be a part of this growing industry, right? It's like nearly impossible. So many people thought that with the legalization of weed that it was going to create so many jobs and which it, I'm sure it does like minimum wage jobs, but as for helping people, you know, in shitty financial situations, helping them get to better financial situations, it's doing nothing. Like nothing. So that's part of the reason why I didn't support legalization um, because I, I don't believe in fucking, <laughs> Oh, this is a big thing to say, but capitalism, that's all capitalism is. So we're just turning this beautiful plant into merely a means of revenue for capitalist people that, you know, have the most money. Another reason why I didn't support legalization is because of the fucking taxes. So while I'm saying, you know, this is a brand new industry that's going to be, you know, created, they got to get that fucking money from somewhere. So they are taxing 30% on recreational marijuana in California. Miss me, motherfucker, like 30 fucking percent. Are you kidding me? 
Are you fucking kidding me? 30%. The, the tax on everything else is 8%. Like what? I'm gonna look up the, the tax on tobacco because if it's not more, I'm gonna flip a fucking bitch. Oh. Okay, fair enough. It says 65%. That could be, oh no, 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 that's from the California.gov. Okay, so that is correct. Lit, cool, that's fine with me. As long as it's more than weed, I don't care. But yeah, so that tax is just absolutely fucking ridiculous and that makes it so much more difficult for businesses also. You know, it makes it hard for the people that are actually, you can still get, um, you can still purchase medicinal cannabis in California. That has a 28%, so you get a little 2% dock but that's it. Like, that is not okay. Like, that is not okay. So we're taxing people 28% on their fucking medicine. When I can go get a bottle of fucking 30, um, I don't know what they're called. Because I got a bottle of Hydro's when I got my, my tooth was fucked up. It cost me $15. I can go get a whole bottle of pills that will fuck me up for $15, but you're gonna tax me 28% on my, like, cannabis, my medicinal cannabis? No. Hell fucking no. Like, no thank you. The last and most important reason, um, to me why I didn't support legalization was because there are so many fucking people in prison right now because of marijuana in prison because they were either selling weed smoking weed you know they had it on them and whatever that if there are fucking people right now in california smoking weed purchasing weed legally why the fuck are there people in jail in prison because of this that doesn't make any fucking sense so if they're gonna fucking legalize i'm sorry when i get when i get uh heated about things I cuss a lot. So when they are going to legalize this shit and make it okay for me and you know, all of these other um, wealthy, I would say, individuals, people that have the extra money to spend on weed, if they're gonna make it legal for all of us to go buy and smoke weed, you better fucking let those fucking people out of jail that are in there for weed. If there's people in there for murder or rape or heroin or meth, the shit that actually hurts people, keep them the fuck in there. But if there are people in there for marijuana, they better fucking get released. They need to be out of there if we're going to make this legal for everyone else. That is not okay, that is not fair, that is fucked the fuck up. However, I did find out that if you know somebody or um, you know have a loved one in jail for marijuana, you can actually apply to get their case. I don't know if it's repealed or if you can get that, basically you can ask the courts to look at it again, which is great. I think that's, you know, like really important. However, that shit should have been taken care of before before they fucking legalized it. They should have looked at all of those cases and picked the ones that were, you know what I mean, solely for marijuana and gotten those people out of jail because that is not, that is fucking terrible. And there are, there are white moms on fucking CNN smoking weed legally and there are millions, literally millions of people of color in jail for weed, for doing the same thing that those white moms are doing on the news. So yeah, basically that's all the reasons why I didn't really support legalization in California and still don't, but that's what the fuck happened. So there's just a lot of in, like misinformed people voting. The medicinal community tried to do as much as they could to inform those people, but unfortunately it didn't reach as many people as needed. So that sucks, but we'll deal with it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you, you might have learned a little something. And you know, I, I will probably end up posting a list somewhere on um, on my social medias of the cases that are, um, you know, strictly marijuana involved, I guess you could say, so that we can get some of these people out of fucking jail because that's not fucking fair. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Like and comment if you want to see more from me. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already because I don't really know what the fuck you're doing if you're not because what the fuck? But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You are the fucking greatest. Goodbye. Mwah. I love you.